just because I'm I. Our lives will come together without a tear or sigh. And though the years roll slowly by, you'll find I'll ever be true. Just because I'm I, sweetheart, about you. Are you? Oh. Oh, that's so. You did say you'd come back today, didn't you? Could you give us a few more days? My husband's out in a wonderful prospect, and besides, one of my relatives is coming here tonight, and I'm certain he'll be able to help us in some way. I'm positive everything will be all right in two or three days. Old man Godski's getting pretty sore at you delinquent tenants, but I'll try and stall him off from day after tomorrow. But that'll be the limit. If your hubby can't dig up some money by then, well, you'd better have your bags packed when I come back. Thank you so much, Mr. Crumb. I'm certain we'll be able to dig up some money by then. Well, goodbye. I saw going down the stairs. He gave it till day after tomorrow. How'd you make out? Same old story. A hundred guys and only one job. <laughs> I seem to be getting nowhere fast. John, Uncle Anthony's in town. He called up today and I got the bright idea to ask him here for dinner. There's a chance he might give you a job. Oh, what did you do that for? We can get along without him. Well, a job's a job, no matter where it comes from. Well, we still got two days. I'll figure out something by then. Come on, let's figure out where we're going to get a chicken for dinner. Well, why a chicken? Can't your uncle eat hamburgers as well as I can? He can, but he's not going to tonight. Well, how are we going to get a chicken? The same way we've been getting the hamburger. Now, run along. We have a lot of things left. Well, anything to keep peace in the family. Okay, by me. <laughs> Hello, Schultz, old boy. Hello. How about a chicken on credit until day after tomorrow? Oh, that's what you told me two months ago. Not another bean. Cash on the table. What's the idea? Well, oh, what am I running? A delicatessen or, or a pawn shop? Thanks. Yeah. <sighs> what you're trying to promote? These days, John. Believe it or not, the only thing I'm trying to promote is a job. Well, I'm glad to see you're getting some sense in your head. Just try standing in line for three hours with a hundred other guys, waiting for one measly job. Oh. What's happened to the old big shot here? Get rich quick Johnny, the oil well promoter. Sounds like he's come down to earth, huh? <laughs> oh, he oh. has. Mm. He's tried awfully hard, haven't you? Now, that's fine. Can't you do something for him, Uncle? Let me think. You know, I'm no different than anybody else. I've been hit, too, plenty. And John, I never was strong for outright charity. 
And I don't think any different today. I don't want any favors, Uncle. All I want is a chance to work. Listen to him, Doc. <laughs> You've been reading the papers lately? You know, back to the land, all that sort of stuff? Yeah. Sounds like the only answer. Look, here's a letter from the bank about the mortgage on a piece of land I own, a farm, that at present values is worth practically nothing. Bank don't want it, neither do I. Gonna let it go. But it might mean something to you, for a while anyway. Then, of course, there's always the chance you might make the darn thing pay and get the bank to hold on. How's it strike you? Why, Uncle Lance? That's darn nice of you. You know, I could write a book on what I don't know about farming. But I guess beggars can't be choosers. Would I have an even break to make the thing go? That's up to you. What do you say, Mary? Oh, anything's better than fighting off bill collectors day after day. If it suits you, it's okay by me. Have, have you got a map? Uh, would you write out the directions? How far away is it? When can we go? Well, about 180 miles south of here, there's a town by the name of Arcadia. You drive right down through the main stem. Turn to the left, go maybe six miles. Not bad, huh? A rent collector would have a hard time finding this place. Thank goodness. <laughs> Look, a windmill. You know what that's for? To tell which way the wind blows. Yeah. No, what are you talking about? I suppose you think that's a mule. Well, he had a mule for a father, didn't he? Or a mother, which is it? Neither. Or both. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and the house, too. I thought your uncle might have been kidding about the house. And, uh, a fireplace. And in a sort of uh, tool shed, there were shovels, hoes, and a couple of old rakes. Then I found another room with all kinds of seeds on the floor. Oh, boy. Tomorrow I start in. This farm is going to grow food like it never has before. Potatoes are ready. Oh, John, the toast. Oh. <clears throat> Bet you never slept on pine boughs before. Uh-uh. <laughs> Tickle. <laughs> I learned how to make them when I was a boy scout. And go and put your blanket down. That's the stuff. Smells good. How do you like my pillow? Oh, that's a humdinger. Put those over you. There you are. Well, good night. Good night. John. What? You're so far away. Couldn't you come a little closer? Oh, holy smoke, I'm all tucked in. You know, you know, I'm so afraid of trains. 